Hey, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at the Fall in Love Ranger vending machine. This came out the summer of 2020, uh, July or August, somewhere in that area. And we're not going to be talking about the figure or the accessories. I've done that before, and we know all about this stuff. What we're going to talk about today is the packaging and why they look different. So stick around, and we're going to get all into that next. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your Epic account. It's McDowan. The vending machine on the right has a closed front. You can't see what's inside straight away. The one on the left has this really cool window. You can see the figure, you can see the accessories. It's very appealing, very cool looking. In fact, if you ask me, it sells the product quite well. It also has multiple languages on the front in a different couple spots, whereas the one on the right has only English. This was mostly released in the United States. You can find this in other countries outside of the United States, but it's mostly a United States release. The one on the left is what I call the international version. It was released in multiple countries outside of the US, including Canada and Japan and... Um, a few other European countries, Scotland, England, that I can't, uh, I'm done there. I'm not going to list anymore. But anyway, that's the difference between the two and why there's multiple languages on one and not the other. So is that where the differences end? No, by far, that is not where the differences end. If you notice, the international version has 12 pieces. The United States version has 19 pieces. There's a lot more pieces in the US version. I'm going to flip this around and you can actually see what's in there. So in the US version you get the sticker, you get a figure, you get four back blings, you get this building material spray, you get what is this nine weapons right there. Here, let me flip this around, let me check the back here. Okay, yeah, let's just flip these this around as well. In in the international set, you only get the figure, you only get two of the black back bling, and you get the nine weapons. So you're missing out on the sticker right there, which I know a lot of you are disappointed about, I don't know. But you don't get the building material spray, you don't get the master portal, or the lightning cloak. If you're expecting to get those from your set based off of a review I did, that's why you might not have gotten it, is because this one has less items. Why did they do that? I've got no clue in this world why they would have done that. Um, maybe it's a cost thing. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe they just couldn't fit any more into this window without making the packaging bigger. Uh, if you notice, it is in very similar. It's the same height, the same uh, width and everything. Maybe they're based off of their packaging constraints that's all they could fit in there, although you could put like the sticker and spray behind the figure and the other accessories there. I don't know really what the thinking on this was, but I wanted to point that out to you. Also, the box is an entirely different design while it's still the same shape. The, the US version has this hole, so you have feet at the bottom, whereas this International is a solid box. This is, yeah, that's solid, well, except for the window. Also, the US version has a pull tab, so you could actually pull this, I'm not going to, you could pull this, it will reveal the sticker inside, you take the sticker off and then you can either put the sticker on a piece of furniture or a laptop or you could put it on a pack of four building materials, I don't know, whatever you want to do with that sticker. So there are some big differences. Now what about pricing? Well, in the US, this vending machine is about 25 US dollars. I have discovered between me and a few other people that this vending machine in more Eastern com uh, companies, countries, is a little bit more. It can be up to 30 to $32 uh, after you do conversion into US dollars. It can be 30 to $32. I noticed on Walmart that this one is about $22, $23 for Canada. I'm not sure how much the vending machines actually are up there. Maybe one day I'll get to go up to Toys R Us and do a price check in, in real time and find out. But yeah, it, there's a very different price. If you can figure out how to get this one 
and you're outside the US, go and try and get this one. Because one, you are gonna get more of the items. You're gonna get you're gonna get those items that haven't been released any other way. And yeah, I mean it's really disappointing that you don't get the same amount of items in both things. I could maybe understand it a little bit more if the items that were not in this one were released in another, some other packaging, some other little set, but as of right now, you can't get that Master Portal or that Lightning Cloak. I don't care so much about the sprays on the building material, maybe some of you do, but you know, maybe a special chest, I don't know, that's got some guns, got those back blings and has that spray, you know, that would be really cool. Maybe they're going to do something in the future that will bring those back for you. But if you think about it, every one of them is that way. The Ripley one, the Scientist, they all have 12 pieces, so they're missing two back bling, they're missing the spray, and they're missing the sticker. So there's really no way of getting those as of right now unless you buy the US version, which I don't know if, what kind of import that would be for somebody outside the US. Now, a big question that I've heard is the jumbo vending machine the same way? Well, it isn't. I can just tell you right now, it is not the same way. The version released in the US is the version released outside of the US. So at least there's some consistency there. You will get all those items, to my knowledge, unless somebody pops up and shows me something to the contrary. But anyway, I just want to talk about this little bit of an interesting piece of news about US versus the outside of the US packaging. It's really interesting, kind of different, kind of curious as to why. But anyway, that's what I, whoops, that's what I got for you today. Have a wonderful day. And if you like this and it helped you, gave, gave you some cool information, please like it, share it, and, and all that good stuff. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. That's all I got. Have a wonderful day.